Imagine stepping back in time to the late 1700s and early 1800s, a period of revolutionary change and intellectual fervor. It was a time when the American Revolution was reshaping the political landscape, and the Enlightenment period was challenging long-held beliefs about science, religion, and human nature. Architecture, too, was undergoing a transformation, reflecting the philosophical, political, and social shifts of the era. It was more than just bricks and mortar, it was a mirror to the soul of the society. Amidst this backdrop of change, a figure emerged who was not just a politician but also a visionary. His name was Thomas Jefferson. A man of many talents, Jefferson had a keen eye for architecture. He saw it as a medium to express the ideals of his time, liberty, democracy, and the pursuit of knowledge. This was the world in which Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, found his architectural passion. Now picture a hilltop in Virginia, where stands a neoclassical masterpiece. Monticello, the personal residence of Jefferson. Monticello, an Italian word meaning little mountain, is indeed a testament to Jefferson's creative genius and his fervent passion for architecture. This grandiose mansion didn't just appear overnight, no, it was a labor of love spanning over 40 years, reflecting Jefferson's meticulous nature and his relentless pursuit of perfection. From the outside, one can't help but be mesmerized by the house's iconic dome, a feature that was quite unusual for houses in the late 18th century. This dome, inspired by the Roman Pantheon, is an eloquent statement of Jefferson's fondness for Roman architecture. But Monticello is more than just a house, it's an embodiment of Jefferson's architectural philosophy, a fusion of functionality and beauty. Every brick laid, every pillar erected, every window designed was done so with a purpose. The house's neoclassical design, with its symmetrical facades and columned porticos, reflects Jefferson's belief in the democratic ideals of balance and order. Yet, amidst the grandeur, there's an underlying practicality. Jefferson designed Monticello to be self-sufficient, with cellars for storing food, rainwater cisterns for water supply, and even a dumbwaiter for transporting wine from the cellar to the dining room. Monticello was not just Jefferson's home, but a testament to his architectural prowess and innovative spirit. This neoclassical marvel stands as a lasting monument to a man whose life was deeply intertwined with the creation of a nation and the crafting of its architectural identity. Beyond Monticello, Jefferson's architectural influence extends to an entire educational institution, the University of Virginia. Jefferson's passion for architecture and his belief in the power of knowledge led him to plan and design this iconic university. Prominently standing at the heart of the university is the Rotunda, a grand structure inspired by the Pantheon in Rome. This was no random choice. Just as the Pantheon was a symbol of all the gods, Jefferson intended the Rotunda to be a symbol of all knowledge. It served not only as a library but also as a gathering place for intellectual discourse, embodying Jefferson's vision of an academic community. Further enhancing this sense of community is the Academical Village, this unique residential complex, designed by Jefferson, was meant to facilitate constant interaction and engagement between students and faculty. A central lawn serves as a communal space, surrounded by student rooms and faculty houses forging a close-knit academic community. Jefferson's architectural prowess and his fervor for knowledge have left an indelible mark on the University of Virginia. His dedication to creating a space that fosters academic growth and community is reflected in every brick and column of the university. In recognition of its historical and architectural significance, the University of Virginia is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This honor further solidifies the university's place in history as a testament to Jefferson's architectural genius and his vision for higher education. Jefferson's architectural genius can still be seen today in the University of Virginia, a lasting symbol of his vision for higher education. Thomas Jefferson once said, Architecture is my delight and putting up and pulling down one of my favorite amusements. This fascination was not a mere hobby, but a deep-seated passion that was intertwined with his political and philosophical beliefs. He viewed architecture as an embodiment of democratic ideals, an opportunity to materialize the principles of the American Revolution. His designs, whether it was his own home at Monticello or the grandeur of the University of Virginia, echo this sentiment. They were a canvas on which he painted his vision of enlightenment, a period marked by intellectual spirit and reason. Jefferson believed in the power of architecture to educate, to inspire, and to provoke thought. 
His buildings were not just structures of brick and mortar, but tangible manifestations of the democratic ethos that still resonate with us. In the end, Jefferson was not just a president, a statesman, or a scholar. He was an architect, leaving behind a built legacy that continues to inspire and captivate us today.